close your eyes and settle your mind on the breath. Stay with the breath as it comes in, as it goes out. If you want to understand something, you have to stay with it. If you want to understand what's going on in the mind, you have to bring the mind here to something you can stay with, and then you can watch it. Because the mind has a way of flitting in and out. It does something and then it disappears, then it does something else again and disappears. And it's hard to see the connections between the actions and the results unless you stay here continually. And then you begin to see, okay, when this comes, this comes with it. Or when this comes along, along the line, there'll be this other thing. You begin to see patterns. And when you can begin to see patterns, then the meditation becomes a skill. Before you see the patterns, it's just like shooting in the dark. You have no idea what you're going to hit. But as you, you meditate more and more, it's like the sun rising. You begin to see clearly at what's out there. And then you can shoot what you want to shoot, not harm the things you don't want to harm. So you want to see patterns in the mind. This is how you do it. You stick with it for a long period of time and stick with it continually. Otherwise, when you lo lose the mind or you're you lose your focus. It's in those little cracks in your attention that things will slip in. So you want to make your attention as seamless as possible. And one way of doing that is trying to make the breath as comfortable as possible, because the more continually you are with the breath, the more it gets seamless. It comes in, goes out. Between the in and out, it's still at ease. That gives the mind a sense of well-being. When you have a sense of well-being, it's a lot easier to stay here. When the Buddha talks about merit, this, this is what he's talking about, the sense of well-being in the mind. And the things we do to create well-being in the mind, okay, those are all meritorious things. They're all good ways of finding happiness. Because they harm nobody, and they help you, and they help a lot of the people around you. If you can maintain a good state of mind, it's a lot easier. Life is a lot easier for you and a lot easier for the people you're going to have dealings with. To look at this as your duty. You're doing this not only for yourself, but also for others. And let that thought be an inspiration.